Hi, this is Stu, AG6AG. I tossed this quick video together on how to install FL Digi in a couple other supporting programs. I hope that you find this useful. It skews the video. Um, unfortunately, I was using an old laptop and was unable to get it to sync properly. Uh, but it should be legible and you should be able to figure out what to do from it. All right. So, without any further ado, let's get this started. Uh, I am going to install FL Digi on this little PC here. So the first thing I need to do is I need to open up my browser. And I'm going to type in FL Digi, that is F-L-D-I-G-I, in the search bar there. And I am going to start looking for, oh, here we go, FL Digi downloads from SourceForge.net. And I want to verify that I am actually going to SourceForge.net uh, here for the URL because, of course, people can add things to Google and search engines that aren't really what they are. Now that I'm on SourceForge, I am going to go over to the Files tab. And here I look at all of the FL Digi projects. Um, so let's click on FL Digi. And I want to locate the setup.exe version of the installer, which is right here. Now, of course, we have the DMG version of the installer. That is for Macintosh. And we have the tar GZ version, which is actually the source code that can be used to build it for Linux or any of these programs if you have a compiler, any of the operating systems. Anyway, this is the one we want, so let's go ahead and click on it. Now, SourceForge wants to force you to watch some advertisements for about five seconds, so you just have to wait for it to complete. And you see down here, uh, Edge is asking me what I want to do with the file. I'm going to go ahead and just save it. All right. Now, I'm going to use my back arrow to go back to the list of files. There's a couple other uh, packages that I want to get here, uh, a couple other projects. Uh, I do emergency services for the county out here where I live, so I'm going to download uh, FL Message because uh, they use FL Message um, during our uh, readiness tests, and I want to make sure that I have the software I need to be ready when we do those tests. Ha <laughs> ha. Anyway, um, we're going to do uh, the FL Message setup exe just like before. And of course, I'm waiting for it to, this timer to go down here. And then there we go. I get the question now from uh, our beautiful program, Edge. And I usually actually use um, Google Chrome, and that's just by choice. Uh, I happen to like it better, but I figured Edge is on everyone's computer, so I might as well use that. So I'm going back again, back two pages, back to the list, because there's one more uh, project I want to get my hands on, and that is FL Wrap. FL Wrap is not necessarily uh, a required package to use the message um, software. However, it does allow you to send files. So what FL Wrap does is it basically wraps the uh, a file up in a format that can be easily transmitted through the binary code that um, message supports. Now, what I've done here is I've clicked on the setup exe again, and I'm going to save it. And that's for FL wrap. And down here it says I'm finished. So I'm finished with all three. Let's go ahead and close this. And let's get started with the install. So I'm going to open up my file explorer. I'm going to go over here to Downloads, and you can see I've downloaded these once before. That's why I have the uh, one in parentheses. So we're going to take the original downloads. I'm going to go to FL Digi Setup right here, double click on it, and say, yep, I want to allow this to happen. And it's going to make me agree to the GNU General Public License. Now, for those of you that are unfamiliar with GNU, uh, GNU stands for GNU is not Unix. Uh, it's a recursive acronym, um, kind of like a joke, uh, but uh, 
this is the license that almost all open source, or at least a large majority of it, is licensed under. If you don't know about GNU, search GNU on the internet and read up on it. So I'm just going to say continue with that, and I'm going to take the defaults all the way through, paying attention to what program files directory it puts it in. Uh, there is two programs files directory uh, directories in Windows. You have the main program files, and then you have the program files x86. The x86 version is for the 32-bit programs, and these programs that we just downloaded from uh, uh, for FL Digital are all 32-bit. So again, taking the default, and that's done. I'm going to close that. It also installs another program called FLARQ, uh, which I've never used, but it's there if you need it. All right, now let's install FL Message. Same thing. I'm going to agree to the license. I'm going to take the default. I'm going to pay attention. Okay, this is also going in the x86 directory. All right, and we continue. All right, and now that's installed. Let's do FL Wrap. Yes, I want to do it. Yes, I wish to continue. Again, the defaults. Again, in the x86 directory. All right, there we go. And guess what? We have just installed FL Digi and its supporting programs. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, make a comment in the comments down below. We're going to go ahead in a later video, probably in the next day or so, maybe sooner, uh, show how to set up FL Digi for what we call analog communication. Uh, this allows you basically to use FL Digi with nothing more than the microphone on your radio. So uh, anyway, till then, thanks for watching. And 73. Well, that's it on the FL Digi install. Uh, we'll be coming back to more fun stuff such as quick configuration for it uh, at a later time. So for right now, enjoy the uh, info.